hi everyone welcome back to keto blogging and in this video i will show you how you can embed a pdf file to your blogger website without a download button so as you can see that i have embedded a pdf file to my blogger website and as you can see that there is no download option so here user can zoom in or zoom out and switch between pages and scroll down the pages to see the pdf file but if he click on the pop out button he still can download the pdf file to their computer because the download is restricted here and if they want to print this document then it also doesn't work so let me click on here and i will click on the print option and as you can see that in preview the pdf file is not showing so this is how you can securely share your pdf and user won't be able to download the pdf file they can only view the file so let's check how we can embed a pdf like this so for this we need to go to our google drive here and we need to upload our pdf file so i will click on new and i will click on file upload and let me choose the pdf file to here and the pdf file is uploaded and after that let's click on the three dot menu and here you will click on share and then click on share button here and here you need to switch from restricted to anyone with the link so let's click on here and here there is one more important settings that you need to do to prevent the download so for this you need to click on the setting here and here you will see an option viewer and commentators can see the option to download print and copy so we need to uncheck this option so that it will remove the download option from your pdf file and let's click on back here and let's click on copy and click on done and after that we need to log into our blogger dashboard and let's click on new post here and here you need to switch to the html view from the compose view and here we will insert that um, pdf file in an iframe so let me paste the link first and let me add a iframe tag here less than iframe and then i need to add source src and i will type equal to and in double quote we need to paste that link and i will close the quote and after that i will click on uh, greater than symbol and i will type less than closing iframe like this and here you need to modify the link a little bit here you can see view so you need to change it to preview so i will type like preview like this and we can uh, set a width of the iframe so let me set the width to let's keep the width to 100 percent and we can set a height as well and let's keep the height to 500 pixel like this now let's remove the link from here and let's hit the publish button now let me click on the view button here and as you can see that our pdf file is now embedded and if someone click on the button then he can only view this pdf file and they can download the pdf file and here you will see the width of the height is 500 so we can further increase the height by going to the blogger post click on here and let's increase the height to let's say 800 pixel and let's hit update now let's refresh this page and as you can see that the height of the pdf viewer is increased so this is how simple it is to embed a pdf file in blogger website so we can do the same technique with wordpress as well so let me embed this pdf file to an another blog post so i will copy the code from here and let me click on any of the blog posts so i will click on here and i will embed the pdf file here so if you want to improve your performance then you can enable lazy loading of your iframe as well so what i can do is i will click on here and i will type loading equal to and in double quote i can type lazy so that it will lazy load the iframe and prioritize the content of your website so let's hit update and let's go back here and let me open this page and let me scroll down the page and as you can see that our pdf file is added to our blogger website without a download option so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you want to lazy load your youtube iframe so that it will not slow down your website then i recommend you to watch the video next 
and i will see you in the next one bye bye